What is up, lads, and welcome back to the Pez Universe podcast. Wes, we've got a new intro music. I'm not too sure you could hear it because I am in the command center, center today. Um, but yeah, we're back with the Pez Universe podcast or the eFootball podcast, whatever you want to call it, lads. And as you could tell there, I was, Wes, I'm very nervous because I'm trying to, I have a lot of buttons in front of me here. This is the second take, right? We're going to be honest. This is the second take because uh, my mic wasn't being picked up in the last time. We had about six minutes uh, done, so... <laughs> we're going to try bring the same energy, but we've got new cameras, we've got new stream decks, we're, we're all invested here into getting the best podcast we can get. Wes, a lot has changed, but nothing has changed really, because we're still waiting on official news. But then a lot has changed in terms of, you know, I went on to my PSN the other day and I was just browsing around. I was like, yeah, I'll play a bit of Rebirth, play a bit of, play a bit of Pez, whatever, maybe. And next thing I was going through my friends list and I saw the main man from Birmingham playing eFootball 22. So I took a picture and I sent it <laughs> to get verified that it wasn't, you know, Photoshop. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting your thoughts on that, man, and, and seeing how, how things are. But uh, yeah, how have you been, man? How have you been? It's good to get back into boot and, and, and do a potty with you. Yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been quite well, actually, to be fair. Obviously, a lot, a lot has changed both, both for both of us, really, um, over the course of the last... I'd say a couple of months since last time we were mm, definitely man um i think obviously there there is there are bits and bobs that are potentially coming out in yes terms of, terms yes of news and you know uh, you know we we are here as a as a community podcast we're here to report the news not the stuff that isn't news. exactly so you know with with you know as much as we read stuff online as much as we read rumors and stuff I you know I I like to stick it in the lines of what's a, what's officially out there. Yeah. And, and I'd say the reason probably for that more so not only is it from a respect level from 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 us in general, not to say that we have an inside track and that we know exactly everything that's going on, but even if we do get some type of news, we, we're not going to probably report on it because a of a respect level and b more importantly. This stuff can be subject to change. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be the guy that goes, "Oh, by the way, guess what, everybody? <laughs> oh, the the you know Bundesliga is going to be fully licensed this year," and everyone goes, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god!" And then it, and then all of a sudden it, it falls flat on its on its face. You know, I, I've seen a lot of people report stuff, yeah, and and, and and with the greatest of respect to them, like I I appreciate the fact that everybody's digging around for news and stuff. However, with some of the people, I, I you know you you're kind of you know, you're reporting from between zero and 100. So, mm -hmm. you know, at some point you're going to be right at some point. Exactly. Regardless yeah. of what you say. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, until we get, uh, you know, until we get some type of something concrete and something that is actually happening, then, then, you know, it's worth of a, to a talking point. But mm. obviously the, there's several elephants running around this room, not that you'll see them <laughs> in, the, in the background here, but there's, there's several ele elephants, which I'm sure that we will touch on. But as for me, yeah. You know, as you did see, it was correct. I was playing eFootball 2022. I, I did have a, a quite an enjoyable experience playing eFootball nice. 2022, which, again, even surprised me. But yeah. I think there was a couple of factors in that, which we will probably go into. Um, factor one was the fact that I think because of how much noise there was when it was 0.9 and 0.9.1, when they first came out, the amount of noise that was generated around that that and the fact that I've played so much of its competitor, mm. the fact that I've started playing other games, NBA, Elden Ring, uh, you know, um, getting obviously still playing FIFA, you kind of get that sense of, okay, well, the noise is away now, so I can kind of look at this with a bit of a fresh set of eyes. And mm. I haven't played the game for months. Let's have a look at it and let's see what it looks like. And actually, you know, truth be told, it wasn't as bad as I remembered previously. So, you know, for me, it was quite an enjoyable experience, which yeah. may shock people. Some people might think, oh, well, it's just, it's cranky old Wes. He's just, he's changing with the, the tide of the sea. And I'm like, well, no, not really. I, you know, I have always said that, you know, FIFA was a, it, FIFA was and still is a holiday of sorts. Mm. You know, if, if eFootball and Konami decide that this game's actually going to slap, great. Yeah. yeah. That's, and that's what we all want, me. like, really. It's, it's it? good news for everybody. So, mm. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's plenty of stuff we're going to touch on, um, but yeah, all in all, things are things are all good. Yeah, man, good to hear. I mean, yeah, you hit it perfectly there. You know that it is very difficult because there is a lot of rumors out. I mean, obviously, being on Twitter, you know, we get asked a lot. We you know we see a lot. We hear a lot. There's a lot of rumors going around, and like 
you know, it's the middle of spring, as we said. It is, you know, it is coming to that time now where I think that Konami are going to come out soon, you know, with with news. I mean, they kind of have to. I mean, if they are going to be hitting their launch window of spring, I mean, it has to be, you know, quite soon, I would, I would reckon. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, obviously as well, people are just mad for information and you know you can't blame them for that you know it's been it's been silent enough so people are going to look under every nook and cranny to see you know can i get a head start here with some information can i do this can i do that that's fair enough you know to me um it depends on you know we we like to cover official stuff because as you said ways and i agree with you like it's so easy man and i've done it before i've i've been i've been guilty of this before so i've learned you know the hard way of um you know, I remember there was an article I put up before and it was ready to go. I'd spent, you know, two or three days doing it and, you know, literally about to go live when the embargo um, lifted and pretty much like about, there was about two or three things in the article that had changed since I'd got the information and written the article to what was now actually going to be in. It was, it was something like very small, but it could have been, you know, something that was like inaccurate. So, you know, I would take that seriously enough that like, you know, I would like to get the information out, the official information out. And it is, look, it's exciting and it's it's cool to speculate. Yeah. It's 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 class to think, you know, oh, it's gonna look like the trailer that Messi was in. That's what the graphics are gonna look like now. You know, it's cool. I say, let's see what happens when it comes out, right? And then we'll criticize that, you know, or we'll praise that. Like, let's see what comes out. That's all that we've ever done. Um, when we played the play test back in Windsor a couple of months ago you know, to compare to the way that Pez is, or eFootball is at now at the moment. Yeah. So you can only judge it on what it is, I think, and, you know, playing it in front of you. Um, but yeah, man, it's just difficult because there is no news out there. And, you know, we've been very quiet, like, you know, in terms of like, there's not really much to talk about. You know what I mean? Like we can't, you know, we're not going to make up something that is not true just to have a talking yeah. point or just to have a podcast yeah, out of yeah. it. Um, you know, so it has been very quiet. But I think when things do kick off, like, and that's been across the board, you know, from talking to Ricky and Sepp and, you know, Spoonie and that, a couple of different guys that, that create content and even such as yourself, Wes, and us with the podcast here. I mean, you know, you can only do what you can do when the game is like, you know, actively like engrossing you or actively pushing you towards something that it's like, oh, next month we've new legends or tomorrow we yeah. have a new campaign, you know, yeah. so... Yeah, I mean, the, the, the weird bit for me was, and it, it, it's even been today, so as a time of recording, it is Tuesday, if I'm keeping my dates Tuesday, correct. man, 9 o'clock, yeah. So, so, you know, even today, it was almost as though the timeline was just on fire. Yeah, it was, it today was, was crazy, man. Was I don't in, know where that came from. In, but it was in a completely different fashion than how it had been before. So, mm. And again, not that I am, I am, you know, poking fun at anybody here, but it, it's kind of funny to me to see that people who had kind of almost proclaimed that the game was dead it was done they had no interest in it whatsoever also then all of a sudden were like oh actually i'm quite looking forward to this oh actually this the, the, the you know these you know rumors and stuff that they had read they were like oh this actually sounds really good and i'm like okay okay well th this is fine you the, the the beauty of having an opinion um everybody for, for those who are listening to it is is that you are able to change your opinion. Like you don't have to just go. I, I've said that I hated it. Therefore, I am going to. Ha I'm going to have to double, triple, and quadruple down on that. <laughs> you, you can actually change your opinion. Mm. So I was quite happy to see that there was a little bit of a sea change with it. Yeah. Granted, there were there were some people who were obviously more cautious. Myself. Um, I think I had a, a conversation with Arms of Atlas at one point today where we were, you know, just like exercise a little bit of caution. Because yeah, of course. One, we don't actually know what's being delivered for V1. Two, we don't actually know what work has gone into that yet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just a case of, okay, be excited. Great. Fantastic. You know, your Baxters of the world, be excited. Great. I, I fully applaud it. But just maybe just exercise a little bit of caution only mm. because from and i've said this god knows how many times on the podcast it, it, you could play this from the same clip from ages ago but it, we're our, our our impressions and our thoughts and opinions are always impacted by what's happened to us in the past mm. and the amount of times that we have been in this position where we've had quote unquote the hype train we've had this is going to be amazing this is going to be better than everything this is going to be the greatest football game ever made and then it not hit that mark I think we're almost in an opposite stance now with Konami is in the sense of everyone went, well, this game's written off, this game's dead. I think when V1 drops, 
from me personally, I think we're going to have a bit of, su- of a surprise and we're mm. going to go, hey, actually, it's not as bad as we thought it was going to be. Yeah. And again, I think that might be the, the general thread that we see whenever this thing drops. It's yeah. going to be people going, well, actually, I've tried it. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Mm. And, and, and that's probably not the place where Konami want to be. They probably want to be in the sense of people going, hey, actually, this game's A, this game's A, so um, let's not even think about that. Yeah. But that's the whole that's the the hole they are in because from a from a PR stance from a communication stance it's just been a wall of silence yeah. outside of the odd post here and there outside of the odd uh, tweet here and there I mean you had the the debacle of the fan eleven when I was just kind of like just just talk to us about what you're doing with the game guys don't mm. don't don't ask me who I want to pick out of like you know. The, the United defense. I don't want to have to choose between. <laughs> I don't want to have to choose between Wan Bissaka and Alfonso Davis because there's only one winner. Like I really don't need to actually. Just tell me about what's happening with the yeah. team. Like yeah. rest that. Um. Now, granted, you know, not not everything is going to be my cup of tea with how can I do things. But at the end of the day, I'm still here. I'm still willing to give them that opportunity. And ha- and like as I I think I said to Arms today, at the end of the day, the way that this game is going to release. People are going to try out v v one, and if it isn't for them, they they're not going to lose anything. Exactly, the man. Game is free. Exactly. So yeah. literally, it's going to be a case of if you don't enjoy it, as I've just listed off, God knows how many other games you have your NBA's of the world, you have yeah. your Elden Ring, you have your Fifas, you have all of these other games that are springing up and coming out soon. You have all of these options and all of this opportunity to go and play other stuff. So you know, if e football isn't for you, okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Like you can move on from it. Granted, it's going to sting a bit because you'll be like, oh, "I waited all this time, and this is what they've given us." That's that. That's going to be that's going to be some people's some people's impressions of mm. it. So I think ultimately, exercise a bit of caution, but be excited. It's a it's a it's you know. I think I even said to to Claire today. I said, "Oh, do you know what new games come out mm. potentially in you know it, it could be next month, you know?" But she was like, "Are you excited for it?" And I was like, "Do you know what, actually?" Actually, I actually am straight in a strange. <laughs> Strangely enough, way. yeah, I actually am. I am actually excited for this. So you know, it, let's 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 all try and enjoy it. And as I said today, we can either all rejoice over it, or we can all you know pick up our nearest implement and have a fight. Whichever mm. one comes first, I'm not fussed. Yeah, man. I mean, it is no. I mean, perfect, like perfectly put. And I think that that's the thing. Like, it's 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 very exciting to you know to read rumors and to read all this sort of stuff. But at the end of the day, like you're not you like you know, you are going to be sitting there when you download the game and you only have to please yourself with what you're playing. You know what I mean? You don't need to, you know, if you're a content creator or whatever, I don't think you're going to be able to sit there and stream the game for, you know, hours and hours and hours. If you're just a regular guy, you know, that doesn't do any content, that just wants, you know, Pez or eFootball along with, you know, you get an hour after work on a Saturday evening, the kids are asleep or whatever. You sit down in front of the big screen, you throw on eFootball and you're like, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I mean, that's what it's all about. Like, you don't need to justify why you do or don't play a game. I mean, Elden yeah. Ring isn't for everybody because it's very, very difficult and there's a lot to learn in it. Like, I'm halfway through it and I still don't know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I still, like, <laughs> genuinely, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I just get frustrated at it, turn it off for a day or two, go back to it and punish myself some more. So, like, you know what I mean? It's it's. I think that's the right way of looking at it. And it's like, at the end of the day, I think why you probably feel the the way that you do is because, you know, I'm not trying to like speak for you or whatever, but like just from kind of talking to you regularly over the last couple of months, like I know how like frustrated you were with multiple things like that happened with the launch, with the pre-launch, with, you know, the patches, the updates, whatever. But I think now you're kind of like a great, like kind of like, you know, like looking glass or whatever it is like a fish tube or fish tank where you can look in and see exactly like right here's where he started and here where he here's where he is yeah. and it's he's like he's annoyed. yeah he's, he's very it's like a graph going like, up and down yeah. like stocks but like i think that you kind of speak for a lot of people that are like done so annoyed you know so frustrated and you know called it as you saw it but now i think that like we're in you know we're into april and there's a new e-football game coming out that like it's not miles away what is on the store at the moment like we've you know we've always said this that like it's nowhere near good enough for what should be out 
but it's not miles away that it's like oh i mean this is like you cannot salvage this like it is completely like unbelievably so poor like this reminds me of no man's sky you know where it's like the game was you know dead on arrival and now you know and and sea of thieves is similar as well i'm not comparing those games because obviously you know they're different but like this is a sports game like konami can salvage this and i think that they like that they that a few people will be surprised when the v1 update comes um but it's just again man it's just it's just a thing like it's everyone has their own opinions on it and everyone has their own feelings on what they enjoy out of a video game. And that's the way it should be, you know? And, and sometimes like, you know, I, I have respect for everybody in the community, whether they tweet 10 times a day to complain about the game or they tweet 10 times, you know what I mean? To, to say it's the best game ever. Like I have respect for everybody yeah. unless they disrespect me. That's just the way I am in every walk of life. Um, but you know, you just have to you just have to kind of have all it takes all sorts in the community you know you you need the guys there the rumors are exciting it gets people talking it gets people like thinking like oh what could this be you know this could you know morph into something else like you know will we have co-op will we be able to organize tournaments like in the future when are konami going to come out and explain the new master league and all this sort of stuff and it's like it gets things talking you know what i mean it gets people talking about things I think you need on the other side of that, and it's something that you've championed, Wes, you do need the official line of coming out and saying, okay, this is this is it. Like, this is what you're getting yeah. in April yeah. or May, and this is what you're getting in July or August. This is what you're getting in December. Yeah. This is what we're hoping to add. Yeah, you can have your surprises of the legends. You know what I mean? Like, if yeah, we were yeah. getting Roy Keane, I don't want to hear about Roy Keane until he's actually in the game and I can, yeah, you know, yeah, grind yeah. him. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, for modes and stuff, I can see why people are like i think people are just that change that you talked about it's it's gone from kind of pessimistic like you know like no nah, get away from here i don't want anything got to do with it to kind of like kind of looking you know kind of like looking over the out the corner of your eye kind of thinking like hmm, i'm going to yeah. give this another go enough time yeah. has passed that you know the hurt the frustration the anger the you know crazy stuff has passed and now it's like okay we're into april let's give it a shot and if i don't like it delete move on yeah. there's loads of other games there so yeah. yeah i mean it's a rabid fan base and it's 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 great to be a part of it i mean obviously there's good and the bad but it's 100%. you know what i mean like it's it's uh it's like every it's like every fan base man you know it is and i think that like a bit of time apart as well is good um you know i'm excited for it and i'm excited more so to see like what features we're going to get in this v1 you know like the actual gameplay i know that you know some people will want like my club and yeah. we're going to do a bit of a roundup it's not new there's no new information here but as you said wes we were talking earlier and i was talking to sep earlier in the week like konami have put out a lot of information without really like covering it you know what i mean and i know ricky and spoonie and a couple of the guys like cam and them have done videos on it to like you know go over the highlights and stuff and a few of the south american guys have done it as well and done a good job um and the french lads but i think the the average person that was following pez that just picks up pez every year was kind of like you know what like it, it's not for me it's not finished i'm done yeah. with it and they weren't consuming that content that's just yeah where I'm at with it. So if anyone is listening to this and hasn't picked up on the latest stuff, I'm going to just put up a screen here and go through. And Wes, me and you can talk a little bit about stuff while it's kind of in the background. You won't be able to see it. I could be showing yeah. embarrassing <laughs> pictures for you and you could be talking about them for all you know now. But we're going, to, uh, we're going to get it up here and I'll see if I can do this right. Two seconds. Yeah, oh, we're up. We're up. That, we're I'll up. Just, uh, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, exactly. man. Well, to, oh, professional. To just, to just to just full stop your point there in terms of just just very quickly on on in terms of kind of rumors and, and things like that. We only have to see um, in terms of the, the mystical Windsor build. that. Oh, you know, man. Got, yeah. Right. Let, let's just put this out there in terms of that build. Th that build has from what I've seen and from what I, I, I have exactly you know from what i've looked at and from what you know your first hand has told me is that that's not the stuff that got released so no definitely not for example so for example that that stuff doesn't actually exist mm. to, to, as know, of now for, no for, for, as of as of now it doesn't exist because yeah. it, it it was never officially released therefore it's it's a it's a build it, yeah it's, it's not and that's what i'm saying man that's what and i'm then, excited to see what like will they include yeah. stuff out of that like you know will we be justified in a little way that we weren't 
you know, yeah. because I know what I played, you know what I mean? I know what I played and I spoke to you after playing it before we even did the podcast. And I told you, you know, this is what we played. You know, I can't explain yeah. what came out in October. Yeah. That's not my, you know, place yeah, to yeah, explain. But yeah. yeah. And then my and then my, my, my kind of last thing in terms of people's people or the anticipation, my analogy that I used the other day, which is very villa centric, is it's like when you get a new signing and then you see them for twenty minutes. And then they're injured for four months, and then you go. I completely forgot that they existed. Yeah. Leon Bailey, I'm looking at you, <laughs> right? Those twenty minutes against Everton were fantastic. Yeah. And then you got injured, and then it was that. He's been know, out since. Not, he's not. He's been out since, and now he's starting to just come back in. But it's it's kind of like that. That's my anticipation for this game. He's going. Yeah. Oh, we're in spring twenty two. Oh, that, that's that's now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, okay. Well, and then that fed into where I started to kind of pick it up and go. Oh, I'll give it. a... I'll give it a little shot during the week and, and that's where that kind of fed in. So I think that's where people's anticipation is, is that it is almost, you know, to use a footballing analogy, it is like a new signing and mm. you just kind of go, oh, okay, well, let's see what it can do. Yeah. No, I agree, man. Because like, even in here, a lot of people were asking me, you know, and I saw it was probably highlighted this week more regularly because this week has just been crazy. As you said, it's just had a different feel this week. You know, there's been something in the air and Sep highlighted a, a tweet about like signing players for GP or whatever, um, you know, and was like, you know, this is kind of a new feature or whatever. You know, I don't think Sepp was saying it was a new feature as in they had just updated the website like yesterday or the day before. He was just kind of think, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but I think he was just kind of saying that this is going to be a new feature in, you know, the actual game. So I have it up on the screen here at the moment and it basically reads, it says, how you sign a player in my club depends on our in creative team as they're calling it. Uh, depends on the player's type. To sign a player, you need a virtual currency or an item like a chance deal. You can use GP to sign standard players and managers to join your team. So they give an example here of Lazio, which you can actually buy for GP. So say somebody like Luis Felipe is 48,000 GP, and then you've got Immobile for 80 or 180,000 GP. So it seems to be that what they've done, which a lot of people probably haven't like picked up on, um, and we're kind of like looking at when Sepp tweeted that the other day, that like, the, you know, the rare players, the featured players, the legends, the, you know, the special edition players that they're going to be releasing, like the iconic players, they're going to be able to be signed for the same way as in, you know, PES 21 at the moment. That's my reading of it. But if you yeah. want to sign your regular standard edition of the card, you know, that's the same yeah, yeah. player version as is in exhibition mode, you know, so you've got your 86 overall in Mobley or you've got your, you know, your 85 rated Rashford or whoever you want it to be, that you can sign that standard version of the card for GP. Now, that straight away to me, and we said it at the time, sounds like Master League Online, which was the mode back, you know, before my club, which people still look back on that and think it was one of yeah. the best game modes ever. I know you had a big yeah. fondness for it. Um, where you could basically sign whoever you wanted for a GP. There was no, um, there was no like kind of coins or featured agents or anything like that. So this seems to be a mix of both, which to me is, I won't say it's game changing, Wes, but it is, it is pretty, pretty big. You know what I mean? Because you're going to be able to develop players then as well on, on top of that. Like it says about, there's going to be trending players is what they're calling them. There's going to be a load of different players that are coming out, but you will be able to train up, you know, to fine tune. It says here, fine tune them to suit your game plan, guide your team to glory. There's a training program, a level training program. And then you've also got like all the, the regular stuff of, you know, the people that love spinning coins and the legend players, the feature players, you know, there's going to be man of the match players of the week and all that sort of stuff. And it has a breakdown here. So, you know, if somebody wants to have a look at that, um, you know, we've already got that with the eFootball uh, coins in PES at the moment where you can buy legends, I think, and stuff. You can buy iconic moment players in the, uh, yeah. the eFootball, eFootball points. Yeah, and jerseys yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. So, I mean, that to me, man, and then on top of that then as well, you've got the match pass, which is very much like a, how would you describe it? Very much like a battle pass or, you know, Fortnite's battle pass or a season pass. You have a free one, you have a premium one. The free one gets you just your, your your normal rewards, like you get your login bonus. And then the premium one, you know, stacks on top of that to give people that are buying the season pass or the match pass um, extra bits all the time. So 
Yeah, man. I mean, that to me, like, is, reads kind of really well. Um, we're back on the main screen now, just in case. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, that to me is just a quick overview of that. Now, all that information is up. Like, that's not new. They didn't add that yesterday or last week. That's been up for months, like, of what yeah. they wanted to plan. But again, as yeah. you said, Wes, you know, people probably weren't mentally, like, tuned in. Like, they were just, like, everything was just a blur of, like, seeing memes and, you know, like, seeing all the bugs and stuff. That people yeah. weren't mentally in tune yeah. to, to to take in that content, you know. And I know that you, you and me were talking about that. And you said that yeah. you probably missed a few bits as well. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's it, 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 and that's what I mean by the the kind of the noise has kind of almost the, it, the noise has kind of subsided a little bit, is that you can now kind of see the wood through the trees, like mm-hmm. you can actually see some stuff, and uh, and that to me sounds absolutely great from mm. what you just said to me there. The only thing that they have to make sure they nail is to make sure that the balance of the match rewards, yeah. for example, how much GP you earn per game, yeah, isn't to a point where you are playing. 300 games to just get an immobile like for example yeah yeah i know what you mean yeah 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 strike that balance where you go oh hey actually here's some competitions where actually you can earn a hundred thousand gp it goes back to the the con the the idea of the content needs to be daily content can't be weekly content we can't go back to the whole oh we get competitions on thursday we get competitions on a monday and then that's it like Mm. there needs to be some daily well unless the content takes like a week unless it's like like the content takes a week to do you know what i mean like if you have I don't know, like if you had like, you know, play yeah, sorry, 30 sorry, matches yeah. or whatever, you know what I mean? And you can do it yeah. over the, the week, you know? Or else you could yeah, smash I mean, it out in a 10-hour stream, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or you or you stream for 24 hours. Like yeah, exactly. People do when they're raising money for charity. But the, 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 <laughs> point, the, the point I'll make is, is that it's, it's kind of peering over the fences at other games. So, for example, you look at, you know, uh, NBA 2K. Yeah, oh, getting the plug in. Do you see that now? This, hey, we're starting hey, this, all right? Hashtag ad. Hashtag ad. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> my, my, my point about is you have you, you know you have your seasonal rewards. Sorry, you have your seasonal objectives. Mm-hmm. And then you've got your landmark objectives, mm-hmm. and then you've got like you know like for certain agendas. So yeah, for example, I mean, you've got it's unreal. The, the, just, but that's the type of thing you need. So you need your daily, your weekly, and your monthly objectives. So to your point, where you go, you need some stuff that's kind of kicking on in the background. Yeah, conference. yeah. If for, for example, it might be score 100 goals this calendar month with mm-hmm. Benzema, for yeah. example. And then as a result, you get something decent out of the back end of that. Mm. You need stuff like that kicking on, as well as the daily objectives that keep bringing you back in. So if the content is there, and if the gameplay is there, from an online player's perspective, there's not really much excuse to not play this game. Because yeah. from, a, from a pacing point of view of the game currently, it is night and day between... FIFA and, and in football because with your FIFA it is air hockey, it is bounced around, it goes a hundred billion miles an hour. It's only gonna get worse because team of the season's on the horizon. Yeah. Similarly with eFootball though, the pacing is at a point where it's slow enough that you can play through people. Mm-hmm. There's enough of a there's enough of a risk and reward between if I go diving in to try and pressure your player, for example, you know that there's an opportunity that you can get the ball wide, then there's a hole to, yeah. To exploit. Yeah, it's very easy to run. get space in in, in in eFootball at the moment in yeah, the demo like enough, so. Yeah, there's a there's enough of a balance there. If they can fine tune that for V1, great. And then all of a sudden, then it becomes actually, you've now got the thinking person's football game versus mm. the. It depends on your react. You know who reacts more. This yeah. this game should always be about, but and gaming as a whole should be. It's all skill based. Shouldn't be down to an algorithm. It should be down to all oh, well, you know, who who's got the the better team. It should be well, actually, who's the better player? Yeah. Who who has the ability to outplay their? Opponent? Yeah, but do you think ways that that's an impo- Like, do you think that that'll ever happen though? Really? Because I even I don't, like. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's impossible. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's impossible because in bygone eras of gaming, there's been skill based matchmaking. There's been skill based gameplay. It, that 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 should always. be be at the forefront of any game really mm. it shouldn't be a case of you know i know that we've seen the fancy slogans of ufl we've seen the fancy slogans of you know goals etc oh it's play to win not pay to win it's like yeah but no, i i fully get on board with that you make your game skill based and we'll talk like yeah. if, if eFootball can find that balance before and get themselves established before ufls and before goals come out and those two games for lack of a better phrase, become irrelevant. Because if yeah. you've got a game 
yes, all right, the IP has taken a massive hit because they've rebranded. The IP has taken a massive hit because of how they launched. But if they can re-establish themselves in some type of space and get some type of foothold and get some traction, mm. the the other two become relevant regardless of what superstar you're putting on the front of it, regardless yeah. if you're getting Ronaldo to do a, a fake Zoom call, regardless if you're getting, you know, you know, what my uncle I thought that looked very in, natural. In a, a Who are you talking about? Right, yeah, you know, hey, hey, yeah, listen, he's he's not a natural actor. We've seen that for when he we've seen that for when he dives or when he puts on a Man United shirt. Um, but but, it, but the, the the point the point is there is that there as much damage as there's been, there's still an opportunity here. Oh, definitely, man, definitely. All still, it takes is a, is a couple make... of good weeks of content and have the gameplay, like have the gameplay takes, at a, an average yeah. to good it's, like basis. It's gonna take it's it's gonna take it's gonna take a perfect storm. To get them anywhere close to where they were before, that that's that's the reality. And time, yeah, time is the big thing yeah. I think for them, definitely yeah. going forward because uh, like they've lost, like they have lost a lot of like you know like they've lost a lot of footing that they had clawed back from. I would say Pez sixteen onwards, like it was slowly, like it was slowly churning away. You know, sixteen, then it was down a bit with seventeen, yeah, then eighteen yeah. came back down a bit with nineteen, twenty, and twenty twenty one. Were yeah. there thereabouts? Like I thought that there, you know, the, there was the eyes on it, and the hype was there yeah. for legends and stuff. You know, like the, I still remember was, Henri, like yeah. and Ronaldo, it, yeah. and like them legends, and then Maradona signing and Maradona Beckham just and, popped up out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the the hype the hype was there from I'd probably say when they made that announcement that they were mm. going to take a half step to twenty one. That's where the hype was there mm. because everyone was like, "Oh my god, there's a there's a games company that's taking a year off to make a game." Yeah, make a, make a game. And that's where it became a thing because people went, oh, okay, well, EA are kind of phoning it in at this point. And, and then that's where that's where that expectation came. So that when mm. 0.9 dropped and the, the, you know, the release of the communication was as it was, that's where it took a nosedive. Yeah. Everyone just went, I can't believe this. They've had literally, they've had a tap in here mm. and, and they've, they've, they've blazed it over the bar. Like yeah. they, they could have easily have done well here and instead they took it down that direction. Mm. Like I said, if they can get the stuff right and if they can get a, a just a tiny bit of credibility back into the game, yes, it could it, it it could potentially solidify second spot because at the moment there are people out there bearing in mind that UFL or goals have not released anything. <laughs> yeah, I know, who, I know. Who 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 put eFootball at such a point where it's below those games and those games haven't even released yet yeah so get their eyes back in the casuals to get the expectation back in the casuals and not to even to mention the hardcore player base, yeah which we know that well they'll always be there a percentage of them will it, always it, be there you know the hardcore yeah. Yeah. but man like are we like if you think back right and i know it's a long time ago and it's easier to discount it now because things have changed a lot in the last like couple of years like there's more people than ever now online like and when I say online, I mean tuned into online. Like, if you go back even five or six years ago, like, you know, I like a, a lot of people would have sat down and watched a lot of TV, or they would have watched this, or they would have watched that. Then Netflix kind of came out, and you're like, oh yeah, Netflix is the big thing. Now there's about six or seven. You know, there's Disney Plus, there's you know HBO Max for 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 some countries. Uh, it's not here yet, but like Peacock. there's Prime, there's Peacock, there's you know whatever, right? And on top of that, like the whole infrastructure of gaming has changed. Like Discord, like what we're using today wasn't around a couple of years ago. Then you've got like people are watching YouTube now, watching 20 minute YouTubes on their lunch break or watching a stream. You know what I mean? Like watching their streamer 20, 30 hours a week as in like binging a TV series. If you think back to Pez 20, 2014, right? That was the lowest of the low that a lot of people would say, like, that's when Pez fell off, right? Pez 2014, right? Like, I think that this this situation at the moment, the voices are louder and there's more of them. Like, there's more, you know, people with angry pitchforks. There's a bigger mob, but the message is the same, that, like, I think that there is a way back. You know, they recovered from Pez 2014. It took years and it took a lot of, you know, some would argue, we can argue whether, you know, I thought PES 2016 was a brilliant game when it came out, like especially offline. Online was a speed fest, yeah, and all that. But I thought offline was really solid. And then, you know, we can argue which is the better game. But like they did get a lot of that credibility back over the years. Um, 
it is salvageable i just think that yeah as you said like everything needs to hit it doesn't need to bang it just needs to hit hard enough that it's like right pez efootball 22 is actually playable it's fun it's rewarding and oh every time i log in there's something to do you know what i mean so it's like i'll rotate that into my games rotation every week if i yeah. get an hour to play here i get an hour to play here and then you have the likes of you and sep and you know jenkins and all these guys streaming that you know feeds into the infrastructure as well and i think that's been missing for the last year because we've been playing the same game yeah i mean we've been playing the same game the same gameplay for the last two years so like yeah. you know it's it's just going to naturally happen again and it could take years where you know can take this time now and think right we get one chance at this you know yeah. ufl or goals are still on the shelf they're not out yet we can just concentrate on making you know this update v1 the best it possibly can be. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be still still some things they'll need to tweak. You know what I mean? I'm not expecting when they well, release V1 is, to be yeah. phenomenally like, oh, this game doesn't need anything. Like, I mean, there's going to be stuff to tweak. Graphics, you know, sound, like if something is OP, if there's tactics that, you know, don't work as well as they should. But we have, like, we have been here before. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Yeah, that's it's, the thing. That's the thing. We have, we literally have been in these scenarios before. And, and, and primarily everything that we have spoken about so far it, during this podcast has, has kind of been geared obviously towards the unknown player. Mm. What they also need to remember as well, though, from a Konami standpoint, is you do have a very passionate offline player base. Yeah, You do have those people who, who very much enjoy their Master League, who very much deserve the loving care of it. And, and I have said this going on record, God knows how many times, is that it was the baby that brought you to the dance. Like, yeah. it's the baby Master that League got that. those... It's it's the ah. Oh, do you remember when you know when everyone when everyone goes down the the kind of memory lane of of Pez, they go down the memory lane of two two things. It's either the original Master League Eleven mm -hmm. or it's Adriano Shot Power. Those <laughs> yeah, are the two, two most no, iconic. Those are, those are the two cultural touchstones. Yeah, yeah. If you if you if you go through Castolo or Menanda or uh, Jimenez, any of those guys immediately if our having goal, all of those. What about Steen? No, no mention for the Irishman. Uh, ah, hey, here. You, Hey, hey, listen, poor man's keen. Poor man's keen. <laughs> um, but you, you keen go, wishes. You go, keen you, wishes he was go, Steve. But you go through those touchstones, and those touchstones are still very much alive. Yeah, man, like, they are. They and, definitely and, are. You know, some of the reaction that I saw on, uh, you know, from on on the timeline today was people going, "Yeah, do you know what? V one's just going to be all about online." And if it is, you can probably understand that, considering the fact that they've had what how many months of it being october six a, six months seven months six, six yeah. months of it not creating any revenue but at the same time though if they nail the online stuff they also need to go okay that's going to sustain itself that's going to take care of it for now let's make sure we nail this offline stuff because if they nail the offline stuff pez return or oh, well, e-football returns to yeah I think it's just nice building blocks, man. That's that's what they need yeah. to do now. They look, they've had a setback, right? They probably bit off a, a bit more than they could chew in terms of hitting targets, right? You know, like what what games company hasn't? You know what I mean? Look at all the games. Now, I'm not making excuses. Here we'll have people in the comments saying, you know, that I'm glass half full Barry, and I am. But like, what you know, what game hasn't been delayed to a certain degree, right? What you know everything around the world has been delayed to some degree you know we had the cyberpunk debacle you know then we have like hogwarts legacy we've got the new batman game all delayed like there's a load of games that have been delayed or been pushed back by six months or you know oh we're gonna have a massive like day one patch of like 40 gigs and it's like okay like just to get the game but, out but that, you know but to, but to counter that argument and, and it's an argument i'll always go back to is it's uh, they already had their delay oh they yeah no had, i know i know already, they already had it when they turned around and said we're taking a half step. Yeah, 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 yeah. Step. I get that, you. I get they you. Had, they had they had their delay because they went. Do you know what? We're going to take a half step. So if you take that half step immediately, the expectation is going to be. Oh, do you know what? They're going to pump out essentially twenty twenty point five mm, as, it, mm. as it kind yeah, of yeah 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 yeah. I get you. Right. They're going to pump that out to keep us tied over so that then twenty twenty two is going to absolutely smack it out of the park mm. and instead we were left with what we were left yeah. with. So you can kind of understand people going... Oh, no, I, man. I like, people are totally justified. Whole... I, yeah, I, yeah. I would never say that. Like, I would never say, like, oh, like, you know, like, You've got no give right. them a pass. You've got no, right to... no, yeah. no. I'm no just, right I'm just yeah. making the point that, like, I think originally their target should have been extended by a year. 
you know what I mean? Like, I would have been happy if PES 2022 had come out as a season update. Not happy, as in, like, you know, oh, I'm happy now for the year. I'm going to be playing PES 2022 for the year with the same Fox Engine gameplay and the same, you know, the same everything, basically. Just a season update. But I'm saying that if they had given that time to actually focus on what they were doing now and, like, have that extra six months to 12 months, like, I think that it was just, like, you know, with COVID, with everything... I just think that it was just like too soon for them to actually hit everything out of the park. And then you had the whole crossplay stuff. You had stuff, you know, they were doing stuff that's never been done before. There's never been, you know, a crossplay, you know, with mobile devices, like type sports yeah, but, game. Like it's but, just but, all this crazy stuff. But, like. but if you, but if you, if you are a games company, you don't commit to a line of we're going to do this stuff that's completely unprecedented. Mm. If you aren't confident that you're going to hit it, I'm not saying they weren't confident they were going to hit this stuff, yeah. but don't commit to it and say, yeah, we're going to go down this line and then as a result, then the the, the, the game suffers. Like mm. that, 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 in a, that in itself shouldn't happen, you know, you know, right? You shouldn't be at a case where you are building stuff on top of, of something to then compromise what you've already got mm. so for example we had a working PES 2020 we had a working PES 2021 whatever they've tried to do on this side of things to eFootball 2022 it shouldn't have compromised the, the for me to accept it as a oh well you know what they you know they've, they've tried to do stuff that's outlandish or they've tried to do stuff that's that's unprecedented which is fair enough they've mm. tried However, don't commit to it if you aren't certain you're going to hit it. There should, there, there, you would like to think there should have been conversations within that company going, is this something feasibly that we can do? Yeah. Is it something that the community want? And more importantly, when can we execute this by? If they had turned around and gone, we've got a roadmap for... I know that the running gag is three years because <laughs> that's something that was echoed, right? And, uh, you know, that, that, that in itself is a, is, is a running gag. But if they had turned around and gone, by the end of those three years, we'd like to anticipate that our game is cross playing that would have been something that's probably more achievable. Yeah. However, instead, they've tried to cram that into uh, a new engine, yeah. a new a new batch of consoles, and then to top it off, you're then going to try and mash it into something where, as you've said, they've had restrictive availability probably through COVID and through a pandemic. Yeah, it, it was far too yeah, it was just too much. So, like so it was too much. So, for, so, so from so from a from a gamer's point of view, I'd be sat there going, "Well, well why is it affected my my?" Yeah, no, there's so no much? like I would never excuse it and say that like, you know, give them a pass. Like I would never say that. I mean, I'm just I suppose for debate's sake or our 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 conversation, you know, to have a conversation about it. Like I think me and you were on the same page that, like, if anyone asked me my opinion, it's straight down the line. I mean. Like, you know, we got what we got and it wasn't good enough. I mean, that's as simple yeah. as it. Everything else is just a debate and it's just talking and it's just, you know, like having the, the debate out. But like, I do think that there was a lot of stuff that they were trying to do that was like, you know, even if, if, if somebody like Rockstar was doing it, you would have been like, ooh, I mean, this sounds very ambitious. Like this is, this is a huge project that they're going to be streamlining everything across every device and they're going to have a roadmap of when they're going to be dropping modes and dropping content and dropping everything. And it's like, you know, I think now they've gone back to kind of what they were doing before all this, like grand plans of like, let's let's build, you know, little building blocks or stepping stones along the way. Some of the some of the blocks are going to be big. Some of them are going to be small, but we're always building towards something. And I think they yeah. started that with 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then the season update was a year out kind of where they just, you know, like obviously supported it with like iconic moment players and all that, which people were happy with at the time with the different club yeah. editions and all that. But now I think they're going back to kind of, you know, let's get the core gameplay right. I think that's the big thing that they need to get right. I don't think that they're worried about modes in terms of they know that the modes will come down the line. And I mean, they've already talked about having add on modes as dlc and stuff you know we've already kind of know their their game plan here that's what i think is that if they get the gameplay right they get it fast responsive while still being able to play a bit of football that pez has been known for that it's not you know air hockey as you say wes or ping pong fest if you're able to kind of exploit space if you're able to like use the good players you have 
and you know like get away with using average players if you're a good player and you still get a result like while you're building your squad I think if they get that right get the defensiveness down or the defensive side of the game down you know maybe bring back a couple of legacy features that people have been crying out for that massively impacted the game like f- f- something for me like you know why they changed the fake pass or the fake shot to what they did you know what i mean like there's no just things it like rattles, that it you know my brain yeah the fact that, like, it, it, that that was a fundamental change like, yeah it really does because no at no point did anybody ask for it this is yeah. what i don't understand there are some changes they've made to the game that literally nobody asked for mm. and, and I, I, but I, that just I, comes I, doesn't it man that just comes just, with change doesn't it it's just about changing things for change's sake sometimes you know yeah but it's like yeah, but just you know to your audience like that, that's all it is listen listen to your audience yeah all right some people might turn around and call you everything under the sun but deep like underneath all of that is a consistent line of just going this is what i actually think if you yeah. took away if you took away the 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 venom and the the kind of the vitriol of a lot of people's comments you'd actually just see the problems for what they are yeah of course and, yeah, we can all see the problems i mean we've seen yeah. them for years because we play the game and we know and it's like anything it's like any game that you play like you see the problems the more you play it you it's like a tv series you can love a tv series but you know like see its flaws you know what i mean like you can see oh my god like this is such a stupid storyline but you know i still love the character or i still love this you know yeah. uh, like this episode or this series like i just think with gaming it's like under a micro microscope all the time because people are so desperate to have what they want out of a football game especially cuz yeah. that that passion for football and real life football as a fan that kind of goes into like games, you know, like yeah. Elden Ring is a phenomenal game, but like how many of us are like, you know, traveling across the countryside there, like with a sword on our back and a shield, like trying to be, do you know what I'm saying? Whereas like, we've all, we've all, you know, we've all kicked the ball around. We've all played with our, our friends in school and, you know, kicked the ball against the wall and, you know, like yeah. it's, it's kind of closer to home, you know, whereas something yeah. like Elden Ring or something like, call of duty you know like how many of us have, have have dropped down in a parachute and shot a gun like it just doesn't happen whereas with the football games it's more it's more primal and i think that's why the fan base is so like passionate about it and i do think that like yeah i mean look i think it is just going to be a case of building small blocks the whole time until eventually they have it in such a way that they're able to say right the gameplay is good We've got an overall percentage of people that are, you know, happy with the game. Okay, there's a couple of tweaks we need to make. The defense is too strong or the defense isn't good enough or there's, you know, there's too many goals being scored. We can tweak them in hot fixes or patches along the lines. But once we have those building blocks set in stone, you have your foundation. You've always talked about foundation, Wes, and you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your foundation right and then, you know, there's no point having a weak foundation in a house and, you know fucking skylight windows worth 50 grand it's like oh look at the light that comes in and then you know what good is it when the house is gone in a couple of years time so yeah they yeah just man need to be a bit more, they just need to be a bit more agile with what they're doing in terms yeah. of updates you need to be in a position where you react quickly yeah like, you know if there's issues rather than sitting on your hands and going oh we're gonna wait for a live data update or mm-hmm. a live, live update just just get the fix in yeah or even say that look we're aware of this problem or yeah. we're aware of yeah. this well and... just yeah yeah or yeah i mean you know ea direct they get hammered on social media but at least they communicate to go hey actually we're aware of the fact mm. that we turned every christian ericsson into a 90 rated player so <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, let, we'll let you we'll let you know how we get how it's going to pan out and yeah. at least then you've got some type of line of communication mm. so you know if it's a case that the play e football account is used more like a help desk use it as a help desk yeah. at least you communicate with your audience like yeah i agree just get out just get information out that's the biggest than, thing it's better than nothing i mean you know we we only had to look at the the ill-fated development facebook group that mm. literally died a death yeah like, because it was sporadically updated and the stuff that they updated wasn't really the stuff of any prominence yeah uh, but it's know, all moved on from facebook now you know it's all oh, discord and yeah, trello yeah, yeah. and that's that's a whole that's a whole different yeah, discussion for that's a different day's time. podcast i think <laughs> we could be here all night but wes we look we'll we'll uh we'll we'll leave it there man because we've gone over what we said is we're just about 50 minutes in so yeah i mean it's been good to catch up with you i hope you guys enjoyed this this is our first 
kind of live test. We are going to be doing a live podcast, Wes. And we keep threatening this. When are we doing it? No, no, it? we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it maybe next week, right? What I want, to, I want to do it in a way that we're going to take like call ins, you know, that we're going to like put out an invite that we're going to get random people into the Discord and have a chat. So oh, you know, I want, I want to. Fun. It could be Wild Wild West, but I want to try it out. I mean, worst case scenario, we can just you're gonna need to kick, kick you're just gonna need to kill switch. Yeah, you're just gonna need to kill switch. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Like we'll, we'll we'll have to put on like a minute delay if we get if we get somebody on, just you know, just in case, <laughs> like live TV, twenty second delay, so we don't have a Will Smith incident yeah, happening. Say, somebody slapping me. Yeah, you know, virtually slapping you. Yeah, virtually yeah, slapping yeah, me. Yeah, but yeah, we no, look, we have everything set up. I'm still. Got a couple of issues with my camera here. I'm on my lighting or whatever, so I do need to fix them. But yeah, we are going to be doing a live podcast. We've been threatening it long enough. Um, and we're going to be streaming. I mean, as well, whenever the game actually does come out where we can play it, we're going to be streaming it and obviously, you know, getting some games going, getting some tournaments going. I mean, look, when, when we're able to do stuff, we'll do stuff. You know what I mean? Like as long as we're able to do stuff and content-wise, whether that's, you know, tournaments edit mode, whatever it is, once it's there, like, we'll be here, do you know that kind of way, it's just, it's very hard to, I know a lot of people ask me, and I do apologize, people DMing me all the time, is there a new episode of the podcast coming out, like, it's not for lack of trying, it's just kind of, you know, it's like talking about, like, a, a TV series from, like, two years ago, where it's like, there's no new episodes coming out, it's like, what, what can you discuss that we haven't already discussed, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, we love talking, you know, Wes and me love chatting, we talk <laughs> enough as it is, so, um, yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back again soon. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, lads. It's been good to get it all out. Let us know in the comments below what you thought. And uh, yeah, Wes, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it for me. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll take it out. So I'm going to play my music now, my stream deck. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see if I get the button. Two seconds. And that'll take us out to the end. So yeah, lads, I've been the Midnight Kid. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, same to Wes. We'll leave all the links you see is at WesFC on Twitter. If you want to send him any abuse, uh, yeah. the stronger the better. That's his, his Twitter <laughs> tag there. So, yeah. All right, Wes, I will catch you later, man. Hope you have a good one. And, uh, Take care, bro. Peace.